Hi everyone, this is Mohammed Aslam and in this lecture we're gonna learn how to run a Peta Linux based Linux solution on Zboard via JTAG and SD card. This lecture is the continuation of my previous lecture in which we have learned how to install and test Peta Linux based Linux system on Quick Emulator. The link of the lecture is provided in the comment box. In the previous lecture, we got familiar with some commands and I have summarized these commands here as well. The first command is Peta Linux create, which is used to create a project template. The second one is con Peta Linux config, which allows us to customize the specified project. Then and the Peta Linux build command, which allows us to build the entire embedded Linux system. And the last command was the, of course, we by running this petalinux build command, we have a completely built Linux system. And then we have tested that Linux system on Quick Emulator. Now in this lecture, I will run the same newly built Linux system on Zboard. Okay, let's run this Linux system on Zboard via JTAG cable. So I'm in the project directory in which I have uh, already a completely built Linux system which was built in my previous lecture. So I'm gonna use the same system here. Uh, okay, before downloading the Linux system into Zboard, please make sure that you have right connections. Please make sure that you have connected two cables one is UART1 and other one is JTAG cable with your PC and also make sure that you have configured the Z port in JTAG mode. After having all these right connections, let's run this command Peta Linux boot JTAG pre-built 3. 3 indicates Linux system. While this command is being executed, I will open the UART one on my PC. So I have UART here and while the program is being downloaded into Zboard, you can see that uh, the Linux system is being built here. Let's wait. It is done here and now it is also the Linux system is already booted here. The login is root, password is root. Now we are here in uh, Linux system. So this Linux system is running on real Z board and this is done by JTAG cable. So you can do the same thing as we have done in my previous lecture where uh, we were running the same Linux system on Quick Emulator. Let's uh, mk dir directory. Uh, let's file to ls cd file to. And you can also check the if config. If config. So you have a Ethernet zero connection here. You can change its IP address and you can do whatever you like. Okay, now we will run the same Linux system on Zboard via SD card and the steps necessary uh, to run the same Linux solution on the Zboard via SD card are following. The first step is to generate boot image which usually contains a first stage bootloader image then FPGA bitstreams which is optional and universal boot and the command used for that purpose is peta linux package dash dash boot dash dash fsbl and the location of fsbl image then fpga and the location of fpga bitstream and u boot and let's do that again i am in the same uh, project directory where i have a completely built linux system 
and the command which I have just explained is a Petal Linux package and then FSBL then location of FSBL image which is this in my case and then FPGA and the location of bitstream which is this in my case and let's execute okay so if you see here it is generating zinc binary package which is boot.bin and that boot.bin is actually a boot image which contains uh, FSBL and uh, bitstream and uboot now we have a boot image the next step is prepare SD card so let's I have already inserted a SD card which is of size 8 gigahertz so please uh, so the second step was prepare SD card insert and unmount the SD card we will I have already inserted and I will unmount the SD card first of all let's see where it is so the command used for that purpose is the df minus h and uh, this is my SD card which is mounted on uh, this location then the very first step is to unmount the SD card I will unmount this SD card and the command uh, used for that purpose is sudo u mount then media aslam then uh, is boot similarly the second partition now both of them are now I have already unmounted the next step is create two partitions and the command used for that purpose is fdisk so we will use the same fdisk and then location dev and is it is sdb enter so here we have command m for help if I type P, P will show me the existing partitions. So we have two partitions here. The first partition is of size 512 megabytes. The other one is 6.9 giga, gigabyte. Sorry. So first of all, I will delete this partition by inserting D. It's asking for which partition to delete and the second partition is deleted I will again insert D the first partition has deleted and now if I again check the number of partitions so I don't have any partition uh, here anymore so so we need to create two partitions let's create two partitions N is indicate new it will create new partition and of type B primary uh, uh, partition number let's uh, default one and the first sector means the starting address of uh, this partition let's uh, having a default one and the last it, it indicates the size of the uh, first partition in our case uh, it is 512 megabyte you can put one gigabyte no problem but uh, I will use 512 megabyte which is sufficient in my case partition one is created I, I will say yes it's created and I will make this partition a bootable and if uh, we put a a indicate that this partition will become bootable so the bootable flag of partition one is enabled now so we have first partition now we will make the second partition and and indicate for new p again primary partition number default first sector default the second sector means the size of this partition because we have maximum two partition and the remaining size should be uh, the size of the second partition so I will make it default 
it will uh, take all the remaining size I will say yes now if I check the partitions P now I have two partitions first partition is of size 512 megabyte and the other one is 6.9 gigabyte I will uh, write WW will write uh, this partition on the SD card and it will exit from it okay so we have two partitions now and uh, the next step is format the partitions first partition by using fat and the command used for that one is mkfs dot v fat minus f 32 minus n boot is the name of uh, the partition you can name it whatever you like and the name of the first uh, partition is sda stb1 you can see from here stb1 is a permission issue pseudo it's done let's have the second one the second partition should be by using x4 or x2 we will do x x4 2 boot not boot it is root fs then uh, minus l instead of vfet it should be ext4 is it correct yes enter so it is creating it is formatting the second partition the the that formatting takes a while but not that much of time let's wait for that okay it is done now we have two partitions if we see here uh, let me yes we have two partitions here the very the next step is now copy the necessary files into the first partition of SD card uh, now if I check dh d df minus h so we have two partitions again now I will copy the necessary files cp images uh, Linux sorry Linux boot in the first partition is uh, media as well and the first partition is boot copy uh, the second file is image it's it uh, image dot ub it it's the name of kernel it indicate kernel okay copy the necessary files into the second partition of SD card I will copy let's copy that one as well boot uh, root and uh, root is a root fs means a file system we'll copy it into the second partition we have a permission issue here let's do a sudo okay it's done the uh, the last step is configure the sd board sorry configure the z board into sd card boot mode so this is the configuration please make sure that you have done that configuration and you have enabled the S the Z board in SD card boot mode after that uh, insert the SD card into the Z board I'm going to insert it into the Z board turn on the Z board uh, I will turn it on and I will open uh, sudo putty
UART1 here. And uh, now I have turned on the Z board. The, the Linux system is being booted from the SD card now. You can see from here as well. Okay, it is booted and uh, again the login is, sorry, root, password is again root. Here we go. So we again have the same uh, Linux system running on the Z board via SD card. You can do the same thing that we have done in case of JTAG. So if config, config, so you have Ethernet zero enable and you can do whatever you like. So that's uh, that's all from uh, this video. And please don't forget to subscribe and share my channel as sharing is caring. See you in the next video.